Hey everybody, this is my uh, fifth video in the series about the various radiation detectors I have and here's my um, hacked Logitech webcam. Um, basically I removed all of the plastic housing. Uh, you can actually hear my lab assistant in the back trying to get comfortable. Well, he was anyway. So, um, the basic operating principle of this is that when um, charged particles slam into the CMOS sensor on this guy, um, it actually produces a certain amount of like light. You'd actually see it as like a lit up pixel. Um, you can kind of see the same thing on photographic film when uh, ionizing radiation collides with the film. Um, so like when you see videos of Chernobyl, you notice all these really weird, you know, like light flashes on um, on the camera or, and you know really and you see really like messed up photographs with a bunch of like really weird light coming from the bottom or what appears to be light and that's actually um, radiation interacting with the film. Well the same thing can happen with CCD and CMOS sensors. Um, but yeah this guy's just a modified webcam. Um, I put a lot of electrical tape over all the circuitry to prevent it from shorting out and then I put the aluminum foil over the top of the um, sensor to let no light through. And then I taped that down on top um, to make sure it didn't come off and it was sealed around the edges. But yeah, uh, it's pretty simple. Um, I also have a Python script that goes with it that utilizes OpenCV um, to basically take all the video frames, process them, and look for light above a certain level. Um, and also to like store those over time. But anyway, so I'll kind of show you what how it works. Um, here is one that I took uh, with cesium-137 for example, and usually I'd run these for 20 minutes or so. But basically it produces pictures like this. Um, I know there's a lot of reflection and glare there, but it's kind of hard to deal with. There you go. And now all of these like white spots are actually detection events for radiation. It's kind of cool. Um, I'm hoping to adapt this into a dosimeter eventually, but I've also created um, CSV files with the brightness of each of the pixels. Um, and I won't open this right now, but um, what I'm trying to do is seeing if I can do like rough spectroscopy to find out if like particles at certain energy levels um, keep landing on the uh, pixels. So maybe that can provide a, like a unique fingerprint of each isotope, kind of similar to um, scintillation counters. Yeah, we'll see. Um, but anyway, so I'll show you a demo of exactly how you would use this. So I'm going to go ahead and back out to one folder level. So you call radcam.py, see OpenCV opens the camera device. At least it should. Yeah, the blue light's on. So then we'll take our radium watch. I'll try to hold this a centimeter above it for a few seconds and we'll just see what we get. Uh, we probably won't get a ton of uh, detection events on it, but you know, we can try. So as you can see here, it created a new image file with the timestamp on it and a new histogram CSV file. So. Yeah, yeah, not very many detection events. There's one here, corner, here. Yeah, so not a whole lot, you know, just for running for a second or two or a few or a few seconds. Um, you have to run it usually for longer. Um, I tend to run samples for about 20 minutes to get a good picture of them. Um, but anyway, yeah, so this is a demo of how a CCD detector could be used. Um, I'd also like to see if... Um, I can take it to a calibration facility and see if I can use it as a dosimeter as well um, to see, like, you know, the amount of radiation um, over time that it gets, if I can correlate that with a dose. You know, it's like if I know that I'm exposing it to one, you know, 10 microsieverts per hour of cesium-137, if I expose it to 20 microsieverts per hour, if I can correlate the amount of activity in the file with those uh, dose rates. But anyway, so that's kind of a work in progress and uh, an interesting approach to detecting radiation. Cheers.